Hunters, and welcome back for our final episode of the Monster Hunter training series, Playing with Friends. Co-op allows players to connect with up to three other players locally or online to team up on Guildhall quests. That's true, Gateki. Friends can help you on harder quests. And what's better than taking down a nasty monster with a few close kittens? There are a few things of note when trying to get a multiplayer match going. On the world map screen, press the solo multiplayer button and ensure your hunter's status is listed as online multiplayer. Once that's done, you can create a gathering hall for other players or join one that's already been made. You can create or find gathering halls based on where you want to do battle your hunting experience preference and the type of content you're looking for. To begin a multiplayer quest, one member of your party needs to speak with one of the quester tricks on the left side of the room. Simply select a quest, then the rest of your party needs to go to the quest board to accept the quest. If you enter the gathering hall while offline, instead of real-life hunters, you will see virtual hunters. These are called hunters for hire, and they represent people you have met via street pass. Hunters for hire can complete quests, and if they succeed, will come back with items and rewards for you. Let's recap on today's lesson. Today we looked at the following points. You can tackle Guildhall quests together with friends. Multiplayer quests can be played either locally or online. Hunters for Hire can give you extra items and rewards. You've reached the end of our lessons. By now you should have all the knowledge you need to explore the world of Monster Hunter and become the Ultimate Hunter. Good luck! <laughs>